which I will show you now. So, it's the Boundless Voyage titanium twig stove. So as per usual, I've got all my gubbins in a pot that fits quite nice. That I usually have with my various cook sets. So this is it. Yeah, I've added that because I've got to adjust everything. Uh, yeah, titanium, 17 British pounds, or Jersey pounds, that cost me. Legs fold out like that. You can put your twig stove in there, your alcohol stoves. Uh, at the moment, I've used my little Spagiva sort of capillary lightweight stove, but the the Triangia does fit in there. I'll show you that in a closer detail in a sec. Uh, but you can't really put the simmering on because these legs are over uh, your your area, sort of thing. Uh, the only other thing that does annoy me about this. I wish they'd have just moved that over a fraction, so it left that whole door open. You could use it like that, with the, the legs folded in, if you had a smaller cup maybe. Uh, but obviously the idea is to to fold them out and give you a bit more stability. Let me show you that in a, a bit of closer detail. So yeah, my little uh, ultralight alcohol stove Spagiva does some nice ones uh, and that's what that so that that fits in there nicely I've got a nice distance between there and the pot uh, again as, as you see I mean that that's quite a small one but that if I needed to take that out I can't do that until I fold these legs back which uh, that's just a, a little thing now my Tangier fits in there nicely. Uh, that works okay. As I say, again, once the legs are folded out, you can't really get in there to snuff or to uh, adjust the flame. Which again, uh, that, that's up to you if you decided you want that or not. Uh, for me, I, I don't use, I've never used that in the field. I've had that, must be 20 odd years at least. Never used it in anger as it were. So let me set up here. Oh no, there was one thing I was gonna show you as to why, the whys and wherefores of, that I saw this one and wanted to get this one. A couple of years back, I saw the Esbit stove, which was, oh, nice I thought. It is, it's a nice little setup, nice sized cup that sits in there designed for the solid fuel uh, but again I use a little alcohol stove I made a little bespoke uh, fancy feast stove which the size is better for there that's nice and then I thought oh this, this is aluminium I thought oh, I wouldn't be nice if you could do a little twig stove if you wanted it uh, but I wasn't keen on that because it, it's alley I know the heat wouldn't be so much but it might sort of uh, damage it uh, and then I saw this and it's virtually the same size. I think it's probably exactly the same size. Uh, and this being titanium, you can use it as a twig stove. So I thought, ah, oh, we'll get this one as well. What, what's another stove between friends? And don't tell the wife. So yeah, okay, so this is what I'm gonna play with today. So let me set this up. And as it's a little bit on the nippy side, we'll get a hot chocolate on the go. really need that so much today I don't think.
I did cheat a bit today and bring some uh, some nice dry kindling. Okay, here we go. The Virgin Burn. Oh, come on, don't embarrass me. Nice. Yeah, it's going, it's going. I found a nice little plastic tub which I've insulated which sits inside that and then the, uh, the fire stand sits inside this. That's enough for a, a brew. And that's my uh, what's that, eight inch frying pan. That'd be big enough to go on there. Again, it's the, the continual feeding, uh, which takes the skill and practice, but it'd still work. That'd, that'd go on there nice. Excellent. All right, it's cooled down nicely now. We can have a little play with that. Uh, what have I got, what have I got? Right, so yeah. Let's just chuck that in there. Ooh, splash more, that'll do. Let's put that under there just for fun. Like I say, I haven't got a windscreen, I'll have to make something up. Yes, we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Yeah, works well. I've tried it in the garage a couple of times. Works okay with the little alcohol stove. I might have to try a couple of little stoves just to see which one works and fits the best. As always, there's always testing. Testing and development.